All right, guys, so today is the day of the starting of a new adventure for GoGo -Go Power Up and all the things that I do and create uh, as a streamer and content creator. I'm excited about this. Uh, you guys who have been in tune on my Twitch channel, you guys kind of asked for it. You know, a behind the scenes look of what my stuff looked like before and after uh, with the revamping and going into the command center, what I, what I like to call anyways, the command center 2.0. I'm excited about this and I'm gonna show you guys right now what I have been using and what some of the stuff is gonna look like as we're putting it together and piecing it together of my new gaming streaming station and content creating station. So check it out. So this is the setup that I currently run right now, as you can see. Uh, Xbox uh, just got this stand. This stand is new, actually. Um, it's got some LED lights on it, and stuff like that, USB charger, um, plugs into the wall. Uh, but as you can see, man, like there's a, this is super like just using what I had. It's good. Don't get it twisted, uh, but I've been using this for over a year now. This is also, let me move this over here. Uh, this is my gaming chair, bought this. I didn't have this for a while. I think the first thing I used was $20 like Walmart chair. It was super, yeah, it was a $20 like Walmart chair. And then I bought these lights, put this here, because this is a bookshelf, guys. Look at this, it's a bookshelf. Put my slow like studio monitors on it. I had like these figurines, I just pulled them off. But these figurines were kind of like tucked over here just so we could add because my camera was right here and it was angled so you guys could see it on stream back here but like i said this is a, a desk or a, an old walmart like entertainment center where your tv would normally go and i used that and just put my computer next to the side and these like dragon ball trading card game play mats here my astros are right there the elgato is right here you also got my switch behind there and then behind that is my playstation like oh my goodness look at that look at the dust on that so bad this is the command center 1.0. This is where I start. This is my this is my starting station, right? Um, now we're about to build and put together all the new stuff that I've gotten so far, and we have a few pieces that are still not in. So what you're about to see put together is not the final, final, final thing, but it'll be like 85% of it. This is it right here, and 2.0 is about to happen right now. So we finally got this all cleared out and we are unboxing the new and improved desk. My previous desk fell apart, AKA I say a desk, but like I said, this is literally an entertainment center that we've had for years from Walmart that was in our old houses and apartments or whatever that we use with TVs and like stuff in our living room. This is being trashed. So we are gonna put this thing together and hook this all up, get the space a little bit neater and we'll see how it looks after. All right guys, so we got the table up and man, is it clean? It's huge, look how big this thing is. I can't even, it is ginormous guys. Look at this. All right, so it's a wooden table and it's got holes in the back, but it's also got a net underneath for all of your cords and things that'll dangle down. It's pretty sweet. And then we have these three holes that you can see. Yeah, that one right there. You got like this uh, decal, it's like a shiny, like, I don't know if you can see it, like silver. really like, silver, it's yeah, metallic. it's metallic. Yeah, it's got this shiny silver metallic kind of paint on it. It's pretty sick, man. I'm excited about this thing. It's super sturdy, Um, it's metal framed, down at the bottom, got this sweet logo on the side. We're gonna, we're gonna show you guys the final, final product in just a few, but this table is looking awesome. All right guys, so it is late at night and I've taken advantage of the quiet time. Now that my wife's asleep, kids asleep, all that stuff. And it's been a few weeks after the original setup has been done. I was waiting for some things to come in. I'm still waiting on a couple items to still come in, but I wanna show you guys kind of what everything looks like now over here at my place and in my, what I call, command center 2.0. So 
let's check it out. All right, so first thing we have right here is gonna be kind of like podcast kind of styled little spot where we can kind of set up and have more of the intimate conversations, whether it's just me by myself, having the more real personal conversations. If I ever have any guests over and we wanna invite the guest in on the videos, we can kind of create all that environment. Here it's like I'm just sitting down, you know, having a drink and some uh, book or some kind of thing that we're going over, we're discussing, and it's like we're, you know, sitting at a restaurant, you know, perfect, set up, great, awesome. And you got the cool ambient lights in the back, books a lot of these are my wives don't judge me over here is the goods all right everything over here is the goods all right and we finally have the setup but we'll get to that in a second everything that i have for my setup right here we got the ring light finally in finally ready to go uh, this is everything that i've been dreaming of trying to have to start up my system uh, we got the blue uh, baby bottle mic. Um, this mic has been with me for a long time. You know, I did music for years and years and years. I've done it forever and uh, recently kind of put that down a couple years ago and this is the last mic that I had bought and invested in over five years ago. This is my mic and I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so good. I highly recommend this mic if you are able to afford it. It's probably about $400 or so. Uh, so just be prepared. It may be a little cheaper now, but it's still an amazing mic. You will need an XLR cord uh, to be able to use that. And you're going to need, which brings me to my next thing. Oh, receipt. Yay. You're going to need an interface. All right. See that green light? That green light is me talking into here. Hello, hello, hello. You're going to need an interface if you're going to use a mic like this or anything with the XLR. You're going to need that. We'll also have the KRK. Uh, Rocket 5 monitors. Uh, these are studio monitors. I've had these forever. Uh, you can kind of even see one of my kids pressed in this little thing trying to play with it. Um, but they still work great. I've had these things for forever uh, before I even had kids. Uh, so these things have lasted me a long time. They're worth the investment. Uh, you can plug these up into here so I can hear music. I can kind of create a cool ambient sound even when I'm off stream to like kind of either work on music or if I'm uh, just wanting to watch YouTube videos or when I'm editing videos it all works kind of hand in hand uh, so with this uh, interface though is the Focusrite 2i2 uh, reason why it's the 2i2 is that it has two uh, pieces of input so you're able to go in and put one mic here one mic here and you can adjust the overall volume of my monitors through this and the monitors plug in on the back all right so that's how we hook up kind of the sound and the mic it all flows through here and this is plugged in usb to here my computer which we'll get to that in a second i'm um, still sitting up here we have the dual monitors these are asus monitors i don't have all the specs but i'll put that in the description below uh, these monitors are the matte finish so they're good on my eyes i can be on stream all day and not have to worry about uh anything actually here you go right here uh it's the bg 245h gaming monitor uh that is what i got i got these from best buy they swivel uh they can actually spin and rotate up vertical really cool uh piece of just hardware man i love it um, we also have the elgato hd 60s uh, this is what holds everything together as a console gamer. If I didn't have this, none of what I do would work, period. Which ties into, from here, goes into this monitor. So my gaming will always be right here. My chat and my OBS right here on this screen. So when I'm on stream and you see me on stream, I'm looking at this side. And chat is usually on this portion of the screen and I get it in and talk to you guys through here. It's really cool. Next, we got the consoles, all right? So we have the Nintendo Switch right here, and it's docked, so we can hook it up and play it on the TV and hook it up to the Elgato right here. Next, right beside it, you got the Xbox One S, I believe. This is the S, yeah, this is the Xbox One S. This is a Gears of War 4 edition. It's super cool, it's super tricked out. You can see the little etchings in it. Uh, it's like claw marks. Um, it's a limited edition. I love it. I love gears. It has like the cog symbol on it. Um, it's amazing. I would take it all off, but it's a lot of work and I don't feel like doing that. It's like three in the morning, guys. I'm not lying. 
pretty in the morning. This is on top of the PS4, and this piece that's connected is the uh, external, I don't know if you can see it, but the hard drive. I have a hard drive back here. There it goes. There's my external hard drive that goes into here because the space on this is very limited so I can play my games. This right here is the awesome Razer keyboard. I don't remember the exact number on this and whatnot, but uh, this keyboard is awesome. It changes color, does a lot of things. I don't know why the setting is not going through. Maybe I need to log in because it goes into my computer. Yeah, this thing usually lights up and has, you can set patterns to it. You can do some really cool stuff just to make it kind of have some cool LED ambient lighting just to kind of add to the atmosphere, which goes with everything else that I wanted anyways. I wanted lights, I love lights, I love colors. Uh, it changes on its own, but you can kind of set it to your own patterns, your own things. It's really, really cool. We do have the webcam, and the webcam is a Logitech C90, I believe. Uh, the box is right here, let's pick this up. Yeah, this is the C920S Pro HD webcam by Logitech. It is a 1080p, 30 frames per second. I got this one because the first one I got was the cheapest version of Logitech that I could get. Uh, I really wanted the Brio, but I did not want to spend that much money at first, because uh, at the time I was not doing this full time, I was just kind of like trying to just upgrade a little bit. And I got this one and I've loved it, but now that I'm doing this like hard hardcore full time, really putting a lot of hours into it, 35 hours plus a week sometimes, onto streaming and to content creating, I needed something more and I went and invested and finally got the Brio, but the Brio is on back order due to all the COVID stuff, so I'm still waiting. It's been like over a month. But yeah, this still does really well. Probably gonna be selling this and just getting ready to use my Brio. So yeah. Also guys, this is my old ring light. This right here was like 25 bucks, something like that from Best Buy. You can get this thing super cheap. You can clamp it onto your desk, plug it into the USB of your computer, super easy and it does really well. I used this for a while, it's been great. After we have the keyboard and the mouse, I do not play any PC gaming, none of that happens here. I don't use mouse and keyboard, I strictly use controllers. There's my PS4 docking for controllers uh, right there, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, this is the Astro A40s. Um, I went through a couple different Astros because I couldn't figure out which way and direction to get this to work. Uh, to plug up to my computer because I was running through issues of my headset which if you this is the mixer which plugs one side I got plugged into my console whichever one I'm streaming Xbox or PlayStation it goes in through the back of the optic cable and then you take the USB and you plug the USB into your computer and you're able to hear sound from both the console and the computer, so that way I can hear stream and I can hear what's happening in game, the sounds of the game coming through audio here, and I can channel them and mix them with this. If I turn the dial all the way here to voice, it'll let me hear voice. Um, it's really, really cool. Um, and if I turn it back this way, it'll let me just hear game and I won't be able to hear any of people in my chat. Well, maybe you're asking yourself like, well, how do I hear chat? How am I able to hear um, people if I'm not connected to my Xbox. Well, I will make another video on that probably. I just wanted to show you everything kind of here, but there is a way that we can do this and I'll have to try to set that up if that's something you guys wanna watch and listen to. Be sure to give me a big thumbs up on this video. Comment, like it, let me know in the comments if you want me to do another video explaining how to get console, game sounds, and chat to work all in your computer with Xbox and PlayStation simply, seamlessly, all together. Make sure you let me know. So the Astro A40s, this plugs right into here and I have this really cool headset stand. Uh, my wife picked this out, she saw it, it's had a sweet LED at the bottom and you could just put your headphones right there. So instead of me, before I was hanging this on the side of like my consoles and stuff that were standing up vertical, and just, it didn't really look all that pleasing. But uh, <laughs> this is a lot neater of a setup, guys. So much neater. Like, I mean, comparatively speaking to what I had before, this is what 
this looks like and it's so much neater. Uh, we even have over here to my left, this is my Xbox Elite Series 2 case. We put this rack up here so I can hold like my bandanas, stuff that I wear on stream, um, some cords that are under here for if I wanna do mobile gaming. Um, but we got the Xbox here, we got some of the discs, even though I don't even use those anymore. I strictly do a lot of digital. Um, we got this little tray kind of hanging off to the side of it. And then even what's really dope, I love this, is this, guys. This is so cool. Um, Matt, wait, wait, wait a second. Oh, the missing piece. Boom, there it is. All the weapons of war right here at my disposal. So while I'm sitting right here and I'm gearing up and I'm getting stream ready and I'm ready to go, I'm ready to game it out for the night or I'm wanna switch consoles and you know, I'm like, well, which one do we choose? And I pick the Xbox 90% of the time, maybe 70. <laughs> and then PlayStation, you got the Nintendo Switch, Pro Controller, and then the Gears of War 4 limited edition console controller. I had the Elite Series 1 controller and it was the Gears 4 edition. Really awesome, but not made as well as this guy. Highly recommend play shooters, stuff like that. This is worth it. Every bit of it is makes it will upgrade your game to another level and will help you. Won't let you always compete with play with PC players, but it will help you for sure. And then we look up here. This is my schedule for myself of how I try to keep myself in tune with what I'm going to do on my day to day uh, kind of basis here. This is like the monthly bigger events and I didn't really fill out everything for this month. Uh, but this is kind of my day to day schedule what I try to do. So when you on top of family on top of all that, it's a lot of work which I'm sure we will get into on another stream. So moving right along, you're gonna see the awesome backdrop for my streams and content. I put these up, these are plastic. You can screw these into the wall and they hold up pretty cool for statues and toys and figures and collectibles and all that kind of stuff. So I love Dragon Ball. Most of y'all who know my streams know that's kind of where I got my whole GoGo Power Up theme from was a little bit of this series and Power Rangers. Power Rangers were huge for me as a kid and just even as I got older, I've always just secretly low-key loved Power Rangers and I ended up becoming a Green Ranger cosplayer for like a very long time. Made a music EP themed around the Green Rangers. So Green Ranger, Tommy is my guy. If you got a problem with it, sorry. Looking down, you got the collectible Zeno Goku Super Saiyan 4. This is the Dragon Ball Fighters uh, limited edition statue, super dope. And you got some cool collectibles. This was given to me from a friend. Shout out to my boy Mike, appreciate that. And you got this cool poster. You can't really see this on stream the way it does it, but watch this. This thing goes from Super Saiyan with Frieza. You see Frieza in the, in the, in the top right? See him right there? And then watch. What? Goes to Ultra Instinct with Jiren, freaking amazing. So cool. And then we got a signed Beerus poster from the voice actor himself and my favorite shooter of all time. I don't really play it as much anymore, but Gears of War, absolutely love it. This is uh, collectible pieces. Good old Kate hanging up at the top. Locust chilling in the back, cool stuff. Pop figures rock, they're really cool. And you got these cool art pieces. My wife drew this and I had this guy draw this within under a minute at a Comic-Con, it's really, really dope. Uh, love Ultra Instinct Goku. Oh, and one more thing guys, I can take this light that's behind my computer and I can also take it and move it, right? Check this out. This is why I set this whole station up, is because of this. I can set this up right here. I can set all the settings of this thing. I can change the brightness. I can change how much comes in and out of the light. I can just film right here. Really, really cool. So you can kind of see that we have our own little mini film station. And look, I can set my phone inside of this thing. Amazing. So now I literally have an all-in-one, one-stop shop of content creating for YouTube, for Twitch, everything right here in my living room slash dining room. Uh, shout out to my wife. Shout out to how cool and awesome she is and how supportive she is. It's amazing. Also, if you're wondering, I did not show you guys this either, but this is my computer. It's an iBuyPower PC. I got this. It's an i5 processor. I'll leave all the links in the description below to what 
this computer is and you guys can check this out uh, it's perfect for console gaming if you're not running a bunch of PC games it is doing the job and it does it well so far I haven't had any major major issues or frames dropping and stuff like that it's been really well also guys I failed to mention that I have these two Lifex light strips LED light strips that are Wi-Fi controlled I can control them from my phone and I can paint colors on where and how I want to kind of manipulate the lighting. I'll have to show you guys that in another video of what that looks like on stream. I'm just going to wait for my Brio cam to come in. And I uh, meant to also tell you guys that this microphone is also on a like $15 little stand. It's not the most ideal situation. I've been waiting for just like I have my camera. I'm also waiting on the new blue. I'm using the actual company that this mic is with. I'm trying to wait on them to give me the mic arm that is going to clamp itself onto my desk and work its way over here. The arm will kind of fold over and it'll be a lot better because this thing rattles sometimes and moving it is annoying, it gets in the way. And I do have a green screen that I am eventually going to get. I'm just waiting on that to get back in stock. So it is those three things and we're gonna be golden for streams. Yo, thank you guys so much again for tuning in and watching this. Hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully maybe you saw something that caught your eye and something that maybe you yourself are inspired to maybe do for you and your streams. If you're a streamer or a content creator, look, you don't have to have a lot, but you do have to have a little and a little bit of drive can go a long way. And I just wanna inspire and encourage you guys. That is what this whole channel is about. That's what my entire streams are about. It's not about the games, all that stuff. Those things are cool and I enjoy all that, but really it's about the people. It's about using what you have to reach and encourage people. That's what I want to inspire people to do is to use what they have to hopefully reach other people, make a difference in the world around them. So that's what GoGo Power Up is and what it stands for, is to power each other up and go out into the world and make a difference. So I wanna use all this equipment to help inspire and encourage other people, not just content creators, not just gamers, but just people in general to be better. So I hope to see you guys in on streams and I couldn't do any of this without your guys' support. So thank you if you've supported, if you've ever subbed to my channel, if you've ever liked a video, if you've ever been in chat and commented and talked with me and just hung out and played games and then just had some conversations with us in the power hour conversations that we run thank you it really truly means the world to me to my wife and my kids and my family hope to see you guys in stream if you visit twitch.tv backslash gogo power up you will find my stream schedule for each and every week i stream five days a week just don't stream on wednesdays and i don't stream on sundays other than that you can catch me on stream make sure you join the discord i'd love to be able to meet you and welcome you to the power of family. My name is Justin. Make sure you power yourself up and others around you go out and make a difference. Let's go.